On Tuesday, November 21st, Michael Whalen, Scotty Mackin, Sarah Ellum, and Josh Hanna were inducted into the Hopkinton High School Hall of Fame. Here is a look at this year's annual Top of the Hill induction ceremony. The kids that have in town for Scott is just remarkable, and it's been that same way ever since that very first day 17 years ago. Um, I was making up a list with his mother um, before, we, uh, before we met up tonight, just of all the things he's involved in even outside of the school and the community for Hopkinton, uh, running the Parks and Rec summer camp, working with the fire department, the police department, um, volunteering, dressing up as Santa Claus, uh, refing Special Olympic basketball games and always teeing up at least one or two players, uh, working at the Boston Marathon, the Memorial Day and Veterans Day events that he does with, with uh, Mike Whalen, uh, the Turkey Bowl, Live for Evan race, my uh, Timlin race, uh, Michael's run, it just goes on and on and on. Wally's bodyguard at the, uh, the Little League parades. Um, if there's an event going on in town, uh, you're most likely, likely going to see him there. Um, something that he's also very, very involved in is the Special Olympics. He's done skiing, softball, swimming, soccer, and basketball. Um, and nothing makes Scott prouder than when he has an event for uh, Special Olympics and he comes to practice or a game the next Monday and he's got the medal around his neck. And the way the kids react and, and go up to him and congratulate him and high five him um, for, for you know, his success with the Special Olympics is something that's always been really cool too. And on top of all that, he works at Home Depot. He's been working at Home Depot in Natick for 21 years, you know, running that place as well, too. So he's a busy guy, but he handles it all. Um, so in closing, um, the perspective uh, that Scott brings to our students and our athletes and community members is truly remarkable. Um, the amount of messages I've received from parents over the years thanking Scott for his efforts in teaching their sons beyond just their specific sport is truly amazing. Um, I've been a part of a lot of difficult losses at all levels as a coach here at HHS, freshman JV and varsity. Um, but after each and every one of those losses, Scott's right there smiling, telling the team it's going to be all right. And each and every time, the kids have responded in kind with great appreciation. Hey, Scott, did you have a good time tonight? Yep. How does it feel to be honored? You happy? Happy. Congratulations, buddy. You deserve it. I have my, I have my, uh, my team balance. I said, I said, keep I'm, 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 I'll be there. I hear what, what. I will always remember this ceremony as earning the respect of the people in your life is a true member measure of achievement. I want to thank all who have touched my life, including my family, especially my daughters, Susie and Sarah who validate and give purpose to my life. And I'll make a prediction right now that someday my daughters will be standing right here where I am accepting the same award. One more thing. The name Hiller will always be politically correct. As many of you are aware, people outside of Hopkinton ask, what is a Hiller anyway? Well, you can tell them that it's not a person or a thing. It's a state of mind. It's a spirit. It's Sarah and it's Scotty. It can't be seen, yet it's everywhere. Carry Hiller Pride with you for the rest of your life and thank you for your attention. First of all, I had a very nice day. Thank you. And, uh, I um, feel overwhelmed, really. Uh, this, this honor is, as I mentioned in my speech, there's been thousands and thousands of graduates over the years, and to be singled out uh, is uh, very humbling, very humbling, and I really, really appreciate it. This soil, this community of Hopkinton, and particularly the teachers in my life, all of the teachers, created the conditions that allowed me to thrive, and now I hope I can do the same for the students of Hopkinton. To introduce them to the power of language, to help them strengthen their voices, and to realize that we have a responsibility to save each other. Fitzgerald Gatsby believed in the green light, the orgastic future before him. Well, teachers have that depth, depth of aspiration as well, but we also have the opportunity to create wonder, foster hope, and help construct the framework necessary for young people to live their dreams, to create a life. Thank you once again for this tremendous honor. It has been a remarkable day and night. Thank you. Right, how does it feel to be a winner tonight? Um,
Um, it feels wonderful. It was such an honor to hear these the kind words that people spoke about me and to be included in the group with Mike and Scotty and Josh, which was a surprise and an honor he so deserved. So it's been a wonderful night. You certainly deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Lastly, we have a surprise inductee tonight, Mr. Hanna. After graduating from Hopkinton High School in 1995, Mr. Josh Hanna attended Framingham State University, majoring in secondary education, and he later received his master's degree in educational leadership from Simmons College. In August of 2000, Mr. Hanna was hired as a history teacher at Natick High School. During his 13 years of teaching at Natick High School, he also served as a baseball coach, a football assistant coach, club advisor, history department chair, and was the Golden Excellence in Education Award recipient for Educator of the Year in 2013. TVL and Boston Globe All-Star. Josh also played varsity baseball for me. He was not the captain. <laughs> he was not very good. Josh was even our school mascot, Hillerman. How incredible that that name, all these years later as you win this prestigious award, has stuck with you. That's him. <laughs> that was hard to find. <laughs> so we looked in and, and saw all the things, I don't mean to invade your privacy, but it's public, the things you wrote in that yearbook. Your secret desires. Become the Syracuse Orange Man. Now I've written letters for hundreds of kids over the years to play baseball, to study history, to play football. I've never, Josh is still the only one I wrote to the school, to the athletic director, to be their mascot. And you didn't get in. So, sorry, Josh. To have a wonderful family and you have succeeded that in that endeavor, and your, your family is beautiful from top to bottom, and you're uh, a role model for your two wonderful children. All right, so I know you weren't expecting it, but uh, no. certainly well-deserved. I don't feel to be honored tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of speechless about how it feels. I, I just love this school so much in this town that to be a part of it, uh, it, it it's, it's a great feeling. You know, it's a nice way to go into a holiday break for sure, and, uh, but the reality is there's been a lot of important people that have given me the confidence to, 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 to try to lead and, and be a part of this community in a positive way. And I'm just trying to give back to so many people that gave to me when I was young. And, and I feel like if we do that uh, in society, then we'll keep getting better, we'll keep improving. So, yeah, it's, it's a tremendous honor. It totally caught me by surprise. Uh, Mr. Simos sharing those kind words was kind of a nice blast from the past. And, uh, you know, it's just a great place to be. So I'm happy to be able to turn on to work tomorrow morning, bright and early. Well, you certainly deserve it. You do a lot for the community. Congratulations. Thank you.